Well, welcome back. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I can't wait for the T20 World Cup to start. Here in Sri Lanka, T20 came a little bit too late for me, which is a shame. I reckon I would have enjoyed having a crack at it. Play much one day cricket, did you? <laughs> well, it's a low blow. <laughs> yeah. Not as many as I would have liked, to be honest with you. Thank you very much. Let's move on. Uh, let's see the nominations for the ICC Men's T20 Performance of the Year Award. Let's get there now, please. The nominations for ICC T20 Performance of the Year. Billy Karatni Delsha. Chris Gale. To present this award, please welcome a man with more than 300 test wickets from an extraordinary career, White Lightning himself, Alan Donald. ICC Men's T20 International Performance of the Year Award 2012 goes to Richard Levy. Well done. 117, 13 sixes, fastest T20 hundred. Take us back there. How were you feeling? I um, don't remember too much of it. I remember little bits and pieces of it during the innings and, and AB on the other end just saying, keep going, keep going. And I was about it. So. You are in the zone? Yeah, I think it's one of those things that you just completely blank out and every shot you play seems to come off. Is the nature of the game, is it surprising you what you can do, the skills? I mean, we see what Dave Warner does, that switch hit, all the rest of it. The skill base is increasing in T20. Is it amazing you and the players? No, I mean, good guys are developing new shots every day, and it's even going back to, to schools and that sort of stuff. And the younger guys coming through are, are playing some unbelievable shots nowadays, and I think the game's been moving forward very, very quickly. Did you realise what you were achieving at the time? I had absolutely no idea. I didn't even know I was getting close to anything at that point in time. I was just enjoying the moment. How many overs did you face? It was 45 balls, so it's what, just more than six overs? I'm not too sure at the point, sir. Did it feel like about six overs? It felt a hell of a longer, to be honest with you. I mean, I was out there every ball, trying to enjoy it and that sort of thing, and just trying to concentrate and keep going. When you've achieved something like that, does it change what you believe you can do moving into the next T20 game? Um, I think it puts a little bit more pressure on you. If you think you've done it before, you're going to try to go out and do it again, sort of thing. So you've got to uh, just remember what you've done before and try to do it again. I hope you do it in the next couple of weeks. Well done. What a performance. Congratulations. Now, it's not just the players who've excelled this year. What about those other men out there in the middle? It's time to shine a light on an outstanding group of guys who just get better all the time. It's all about doing the best you can um, and, and it's not about awards or getting rewards and it's just a, a recognition of, of something that you've done well over the last 12 months. I did my best and I, it's all about team effort I think uh, so we have to uh, we'll decide many things in the, in the ground not a, not a single person. I've enjoyed it, it's been great, and um, hopefully the next 12 months will be uh, the same. Every time we go out on the field, it's uh, a challenge and a standout moment, really. 
Uh, we as umpires aim to uh, every session of play we do, aim to try out to go out there and get everything uh, right. And has there been any standout moments in this last 12 months for you? Uh, my fiance would probably kill me if I said uh, no, wouldn't she? Well, I think it's phenomenal what the umpires do, and I think the technology involved in the game only does one thing, proves how many decisions they get it right. The nominations for ICC Umpire of the Year were as follows. Billy Bowden, Alan Dar, Kumar Darmasena, Richard Kettleborough, Simon Towful, and Rod Tucker. To announce the winner, please welcome Graham Gooch. The umpire of the year, ICC umpire of the year for the David Shepherd Trophy is Kumar Dharmasena of Sri Lanka. going to pop in and have a word with Kumar. Thank you, Graham. And um, Kumar, how proud of you are you of this particular award? Uh, it is a great honour and privilege to have this award, especially uh, this is for the Sri Lankan uh, umpires and uh, uh, very hard work for the last uh, few years and uh, uh, special thanks for the, uh, my colleagues, uh, elite panel umpires. They gave all the support and encouragement especially when I'm having a bad day. Uh, this is goals for the, all of the elite panel umpires. Well, this is your first year on that, this elite panel. What have been the challenges you faced? Uh, there are a lot of challenges uh, I came across. Uh, actually, I umpired different uh, type of pitchers and away from Sri Lanka. So those are the big challenges for me. How does it compare with playing? I mean, we all remember you bowling in tandem with Murali and winning the World Cup for Sri Lanka in 1996. Do you miss it? Yeah, definitely. The playing and the umpiring is totally different things, but I use my old playing experience to do umpiring in better, and uh, yeah, I'm enjoying. What's the buzz you get out of umpiring compared with playing? I'm going to put you on the spot here and ask you what one you prefer. Uh, that's why the DR is there, so to correct us. <laughs> and also, you're officiating on the home turf for uh, the World Cup. How excited are you about that? It's a uh, uh, honour to umpire in Sri Lanka because last one year I did only a couple of games in Sri Lanka so I love looking forward to umpire this World Cup in Sri Lanka. Well we wish you the best of luck, enjoy your evening. Shima Dharmasena everyone, thank you. One thing for sure, he would have liked to have umpired when he was bowling. It would have been surprising. Still plenty to come from here in this beautiful place that we're at tonight, Sri Lanka, beautiful country. Don't go anywhere.